when you are going to pop. So we are not getting into the detail of this, but we will at least have a basic orientation, basic understanding during this session on understanding ebooks, their types, possibilities to use it, why we need different types of ebooks, why when we had a textbook or when we had a PDF, why we have to move from PDF to EPUB or playbook. We will understand all these technicalities and we will also see the energized textbook and maybe expert. For today's session, we have with us uh, our technical expert from CIT only. Uh, he's uh, there with CIT for a long time and he's been involved in all the activities related to uh, digitization of the textbooks as well as energizing of these textbooks. Uh, I welcome um, Mr. Devashish Jaisawar, uh, you for this program. Uh, sir, uh, we have uh, seven states and uh, right now participating from uh, southern area and one is uh, Andaman and Nicobar. Uh, is also there with us in this list. So, voice is breaking now. I'll just switch off my video so that you can listen to me properly. So, sir, I hand over this session to you. If you face any difficulty at any time, I'll be there with you. So, you may just uh, start the session. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Monica, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Uh, just, uh, my name is Devasis Majeswal and I am a database administrator here in CIT and CRT. And uh, today I am going to explain about ebooks and their resources and uh, which format ebooks uh, we are using in NCRT, CIT, and uh, which format and which formats ebooks is available on different platforms like NCRT websites, eParsala websites, and eParsala mobile app and Diksha mobile app and Diksha website as well. So uh, firstly, I'm sharing my screen. Yeah, is it visible? Anyone please reply on chat? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Visible. Visible. Yeah. So uh, today we are uh, discuss and learn uh, about uh, PDFs what is PDF and why we, you are, we are using PDF, EPUB, what is EPUB, and why we are using EPUB and Flipbook and which uh, format Flipbook and where uh, available Flipbook format books and textbooks in the different uh, platform and what is QR code and how to generate QR code through Google Sheets, uh, through open uh, source uh, API and uh, in which mobile app and which format eBooks is available in the, uh, on eBooks, right? So first thing, uh, when we uh, think about ebooks, then uh, in our mind, what is ebooks? Exactly what are ebooks? The ebooks means basically uh, nothing else, but ebook is an electronic book and uh, it is a non-editable text. Uh, when we say the non-editable text, that means no one can change the text content on the any ebooks without the author permission, right? This. Uh, these are the main things and uh, only uh, we, I am uh, on, uh, written here. So we go to the next slide. Yeah, main sir, thing is we are uh, using three they, formats. They wish, they wish yeah. you, sir, you can uh, make it in screen show mode. Uh, sorry, slide show mode so that uh, it is visible to all properly. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, fine. Yeah, then we uh, we uh, see the uh, screen and uh, there is a uh, three different formats available, uh, PDF, EPUB and Flipbook. So earlier we... No, uh, sir, still the screen is not clear. Not clear? Yes, just a little bit enlarge it. Uh, Devashish, sir, actually you have uh, uh, done the next slide option also, no? So that is visible, ah. yes, now, yes, now yes. it is better. Okay okay. okay, 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 thank you, thank you. Okay, thanks, thank you so much. Then uh, we talk about uh, EPDF, right? So PDF, earlier we were using PDF, only PDF format for the NCRT websites 
and Diksha website as well. But initially, we are using EPUB and Filibook also. And I will show you the in website in live website where is the PDF available, where is the EPUB available, and where is the Filibook uh, format available. Okay. So, yeah. Then we talk about EPUB, right? Then why we switch to PDF to EPUB? Then what is the main difference and why we need EPUB format? So basically when we use PDF and when open any PDF files, any PDF content in our smartphone or small devices like uh, mobile phones, iPad, this type of devices, small devices, apart from the uh, uh, laptop or desktop. So we need to zoom in and zoom out, right? So this is the difficulties and text is not uh, reflowable. In EPUB, when, we, uh, when EPUB is come, then EPUB is reflowable and it is a text format and it is reflowable. Reflowable means when we uh, open EPUB file in my smartphone and the smartphone size will be five, seven, any size of your smartphone, then automatically text will be auto adjusted. That means reflowable and PDF is non-editable and EPUB is uh, editable, we can edit easily. And uh, this is the, when EPUB is creating, then we need a one editor, that's it, uh, sigil. And EPUB, in EPUB format, this is the main and best advantage is text to speech features is available. Text to speech features are available means when we open any EPUB file in our smart devices, then we need to one EPUB reader and text to speech reader, then automatically read the text. And this is the help of blind student and special children that will be more informable. Okay, then this is the main difference between PDF and EPUB. And EPUB is available on ePartsala mobile app. And PDF is available on NCRT website and Diksha website. Next, uh, ebooks available on following places already uh, discussed NCRT official website, ncrt.nic.in, I will show you. And PDF version available under the publication menu. And second one is Diksha portal and mobile app. This is the, uh, uh, both the operating system available. And right now, currently in mobile app, Diksha only Android is available, Android application. But initially we are working on it. So very soon coming iOS uh, producer also. And third is ePartsala. And ePartsala, we have a mobile app and mobile app and website as well. In ePartsala website, Flipbook format is available and mobile app ePub format is available. Next, uh, only see the screen, only Diksha, this is the Diksha logo. And this is the ePartsala. And also apart from ePartsala and Diksha, our ePartsala content is available on Umang app also. Umang is a government of India initiative and this is the umbrella of government of India's all the uh, major initiative apps is available on Umang platform. And ePartsala is available on three operating system. One is Android, second one is iOS and third one is Windows. Now, nowadays, you know about the energized textbook and now it is very popular, this is energized textbook. And why we are using energized textbook and why it is most popular through the extra content, extra resources in terms of any textbook, any particular topics, any chapters, we can map other resources format like audio, video, interactive, like this. So many, one topic, we can multiple resources mapped through the QR code. So basically we are uh, going to see the how to generate a QR code. So firstly, we need a one Gmail account because I am here to explain how to generate QR code through the Google Sheets, right? So firstly, we need a, a, a Gmail account and after Gmail account, logged in and after logged in, we can see you. I will show you on live. So these are the steps. First, we need to four columns, and the Roman URL code, complete URL and QR code, fill the columns and after that. So I am Going to Gmail. Firstly, I am logging to Gmail. This is my Gmail account, right? Already I am logged in right now. 
so please click on nine dots line google apps and click on drive icon is drive icon after clicking on drive icon here see the left hand side left hand side new this is new plus sign and new then simply click on new button actually i am going to explain how to create qr code through google sheets right so we have to click on it new and click on google sheets open google sheets right after opening the google sheets already shown there we need to fill up the columns first is domain url domain url means your website url where domain url second is code code means your textbook code right and third one is complete url complete complete url and fourth one is qr code this is the main thing we have to return here i increase the size 14 right okay fine then domain url so domain url is e parcel out at nic.in yes sir please uh, see first then after that discuss domain url is our e parcel website url e parcel.nic.in this is the domain url code suppose our mathematics code book code is 101 and suppose my chapter one ch01 and we need to concatenate both the domain url and code domain url and code then we have to concatenate is is equal to small bracket is open and concat right concat this one is our is a2 right this one domain url a2 a2 and comma this one is b2 b2 right then simply and use the tab right then go to the second then automatically generated the complete url e parcel url then code 101 ch01 then we have to concat both the domain url and code after that we need a one api then we are using i am using qricit api then simply paste here right this is the main thing is equal to image small bracket open inverted comma open http colon slash slash qricit.com this is the website who developed the qr code api i am using this i am so i will show you the where is exactly api is available right then simply when simply enter then automatically QR code will be generated, right? If in your one books, mathematics, suppose 10 chapters, right? Then domain URL will be same. Then simply drag up to 10th. This is 10th, right? And QR code simply only chapter name will be changed. One, two, CH01, CH02, right? Then simply select and drag it. 101, CH01, 101 is it? Your book code, CH is a chapter number, chapter, CH for chapter, and 01 for chapter 1. 101, CH 02 till 10. Suppose your book, one book is 10 chapters, right? Simply drag, same kind of this complete URL, select it and drag up to 10. Then automatically concatenate the formula, domain URL and code URL. Simply in QR code, also we have already mentioned the API. Then simply here is also simply select first and drag it up to 10. Then automatically QR code will be generated, right? Then select. Sir, once more, sir, how to prepare the QR code once more? Yeah, sir, sure, please sure, sure. explain it again. Yeah, sure. I will explain again. Sir, same QR code will uh, act to sir all the lessons. 
no 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 see sir, this is all sir, every qr, QR code every every qr code is unique one so unique, that's why i'm yes, asking right. every qr code is unique how unique you yes, can sir. see there i am i am increasing the font size then you have to see better sir, right. qr code ke bare mein fir se bataiye ha ma'am main aapko bata raha hu dekhiye uh, this the first thing is you have you have a one email id right gmail account if you have a gmail account and prerequisite for qr code generation for bulk mailer in your scrt books or any your state books you would need to one website you have to one website and one server if you have a website or server after that how to create a qr code in bulk right then i am explaining this is the steps firstly firstly you have to click on google sheets okay open new google sheets simply open google sheets right and after open the sheets four things we need to four things one is a domain url your domain url domain url means website ka url right and second thing is code code is your books code right suppose your books code is 101 or 201 or 113 anyone anyone Suppose one zero six four, right? One zero six four is your book code, but chapter is C X. The chapter is starting from zero one, right? Chapter always started from one to zero one. This is the code. Or this is the domain URL. Domain URL in my case in NCERT domain URL is parsala dot nic dot in. This is the our domain URL. So simply copy and paste here. Two things clear. Domain URL code. right yes, sir third thing complete url c o m p l e complete url right then we the domain, need to the main url okay then the code is the the, the textbook code is it that yes yes this is textbook code, code and uh, anything you can as per and your uh, textbook chapter 1 of the textbook is it right right sir where it right. is available sir the textbook code no this is available in your uh, organization please ask to publication department they will uh, oh, okay 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 let okay, you know sir, okay. what Thank is the you. books code right so actually i'm randomly i am typing here randomly but you have you are you know about the uh, code what is the your books code right simply i am anything else 1064 or 101 okay suppose your uh, science books code is 201 maybe right 201 is book code And chapter C S zero one, your science books code is two zero one, right? Then complete URL. When complete URL means domain URL plus code, we have to concatenate. Then formula is is equal to and small bracket open, and this is the A two, right? Only simply click A two comma then simply B two, this and bracket close, then enter. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Concatenate is missing. Is equal to concatenate, right? Then you have to select concat. Then a two comma then b two and bracket close. This is the formula for concatenate the a two column and b two column, right? After enter, automatically here is the concatenate. If our domain URL code here is the code. In lastly, this is the code, right? Two zero one C H zero one. After that, we need a QR code, right? Then QR code. Then I am using I Q R I C K I T API. Then we have to copy it. I am sending this <coughs> API on chat box. okay then here is only paste the api you have to paste the api only please don't change anything <coughs> if you want to change then only change the qr size and this is the column name right and after pasting the uh, api code here then automatically generate the qr code then we have to this the suppose if you have done, you have you did not didn't have qr code code right okay then i will remove the qr code then here is 201 ch01 will be not there right 
that's why i'm using the qr code for example our website one website is eparsala right yeah website is visible eparsala website please confirm anyone yes yes and i am using this code and if you have a mobile device right a smartphone then you have to scan the code and read the content mapped content maybe uh, audio format video format anything else is mapped on this qr code but you you don't have the smartphone only you have a laptop or computer then you need to see the code in textbook every ncert textbook is a qr coded and there is one qr code in below the qr code one code suppose for example in our case in e parsala suppose 1064ch01 this is the one book qr code right then simply enter then against 1064ch01 this is the book name science subject science chapter number 1 chapter name chemical reaction and equations then there is a mapped extra resources text resources video resources graphics this kind of resources is mapped in this qr code that's why i am using qr code along with qr code and code here is the black screen is a white screen qr code and below code right then simply when you required one book 10 chapters right then simply up to 10 select first and one second i am removing and again explain only select and up to 10 only drag right same kind of only select then drag up to 10 this means your qr code will generate up to 10 chapters this is also also i am already put in the uh, formula then only simply select and drag in our in the qr code simply already we have a uh, api here is the api then simply we have to select and the drag only main thing please see this the qr code newly generated qr code only change the qr code ch01 here is ch01 but here is ch02 that means this is the different qr code for different chapters right Sir, could you please uh, click the first complete URL? Yes. Okay, that is the formula. You see, sir, to complete. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is the formula. This will you. Uh, you uh, if you know about the Excel, this is the Excel formula, right? Okay, sir. Thank you. Excel formula. Okay, no problem. I will uh, copy it and check. Clear? Yes, sir. Any query regarding the generating the QR code? If you have any query, please let us let me know. Yes, fine. Then suppose class ten maths QR code. After generating the QR code, one second. Right. after generating the qr code you have to save the file on pdf format simply go to the file and download a download simply as pdf okay and export simply export when you click on export pdf will be download your local machine okay this is the pdf files now you have to you have to image this is the image you have to extract the image from pdf file then how to extract image from pdf file you need you if you have a, a, a adobe acrobat software or if you are using ubuntu operating system then you have to easily extract the images otherwise you can also this is not recommended by us but it is also you can use the through online pdf to image converter simply pdf to image converter okay 
This is the way. Simple PDF. Any any tool you can choose the PDF file and convert the PDF. But you but you are using Ubuntu system or Android uh, system, then you can use the Adobe Acrobat. But in my system right now, we don't have Adobe Acrobat or Ubuntu. That's why I'm not showing this thing. Right. Uh, sir, one doubt. Yeah. Uh, if I create a poster. In if you create a poster, Canva, okay. If I create a poster in Canva, can I create a QR code like this? Uh, actually, no. Basically, when we talk about uh, your textbook in bulk manner and you need for this QR code generation, you need one website, right? If you have a website and server, then you can create a poster and then first poster uh, code is uh, uploaded to the website and server, mapped it, to, mapped it on, then after that creating. But if you uh, generate one or two or some uh, small cases for uh, uh, any sample or any browser, then you need to simply go to Google and simply write there QR code generator and enter. Then here is coming in the first code QR code generator. Okay. Then simply, simply that URL paste it here. Suppose I need this is the URL, any URL, YouTube URL or uh, something like one page URL. Then copy it and simply paste it here. The after pasting after pasting the uh, URL automatically generate the QR code here. This is the QR code and simply download and suppose EV event event EVI case event suppose then simply and download. Then automatically QR code will be downloaded in your local system and you can use it and you can paste it here anywhere. Okay, this is the is for small cases, but in your bulk cases, if you have a 300 books, then at a time you can only select and create the QR code and seats attach seats for different different classes and simply copy it and paste it and change the only code book code that automatically generate the in bulk manner. And in this case, if you are uh, uh, generating uh, thousand or three hundred uh, books and hundred books, suppose the hundred books is equal to ten chapters, then thousand, thousand QR code, then thousand times copy paste here. And in bulk manner in your uh, state books you are generating, then only through this process Google Sheets. That's why I'm uh, explain the how to create a QR code through the Google Sheets. Can I use blogger URL for domain URL? Yes, you can use it. Yes, where can we get? Okay. C. I am already uh, coded paste here. This is the uh, code. And I am using this code through this website. I am showing the website. This is the website. QRICKIT.com. Okay, simply here is QRICKIT. This is the API, already API is here. So here is written here, a QR code is a square barcode that can be scanned using the camera of your smartphone or tablet since it is a free and open technology. That's why I'm using this QR code API. Free and open technology. Anyone can make and use QR codes for personal and business purposes, right? This is a free and open source IA. That's why I am using this API. Okay, I am sending the formula complete. Yes, now can I uh, go to the next agenda? Yeah, and we talked about ebooks and digitization of textbooks, right? Then we have how to create an ebooks, right? Then I'm sharing my, uh, okay. I'm opening Sigil Editor. Already I have downloaded Sigil Editor. Yeah, my screen is visible.
प्लीज कंफर्म चैट बॉक्स ओके यस नाउ स्क्रीन इज विजिबल थैंक्स दिस इज द सिजिल एडिटर फॉर इपप क्रिएशन फॉर प्री रिक्विजिट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग द प्री रिक्विजिट फॉर इपप क्रिएशन ओके इफ यू हैव अ इन डिजाइन फाइल देन फर्स्टली फ्रॉम इन डिजाइन फाइल यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इपप फॉर्मेट then simply open indesign file and go to the file and extract as epub after extracting the epub then you have to open that epub file on sigil software right this is the sigil this is a sigil software sigil is a editor sigil open source yes sigil is a open source this is sigil is a editor sigil is editor just like a notepad plus plus dream weaver visual studio code and so many editors available for different different purpose and different different work for this one epub for this epub making we are using e sigil editor and you can simply download sigil editor sigil software from the sigil official website and simply in your google simply type sigil download then first or first link or second link you can click on it and simply download the sigil editor after downloading you need to install sigil editor on your laptop or computer right after uh, after installing you have to open it sigil editor then right now your uh, my screen is uh, visible is sigil editor this is the sigil editor this is the file edit insert format search tools view this is the type okay then simply simply i am showing the one epub file i am not creating a from scratch go to the file and open and here is the i have saved one epub file kebs11.epub then simply open after opening a epub file you see here this is the cover page right and this is our books this is our books right so when we see the books this is our books and already we have made the uh, books in epub there is the books and here is two things one is a book view and another one is code view and i am already explained as epub is a html and css file html text format this is the text you can copy paste anywhere and auto adjustable right then this is the html uh, when we talk about html then i click on code view when you click on code view this is the code i am saying when html then this is the html under html tags right doctor html head and title this time p tag p for paragraph right Div, division, this kind of things. So then, when we change anything in this code and anything we need to design a yellow line, right? This is the yellow line, and this is the H one, H two, H three. Then we need to change H three. Then automatically background is okay. And change the background. Suppose I need to change the background, then click on H two. right this kind of changes and you have to little bit about html text how to use it and where to open and how to close and this kind of things you have to explore it and then you have to make the if a file right here is three things one is a html file second is a styles styles means css dot css dot css means cascading style sheets when we this is the red color okay then we need to the change the green color then you have to here is the css file then click on css suppose this is the color code background colors 
has 666. This is the box color, right? This kind of things you need to know about the, what is the color code, then FFF, white, 000, black, this kind of things you have to, you can go to the Google and search each, what is the color code, HTML color code, then you see there, uh, FFF is a for white color, 1.5 EM is a font size, how the font size, this kind of things. And when you use for, suppose you need a add a one image here, suppose here you want to add an image, then simply go to insert, this is the image files. I have already added all the images in this folder, images folder, right? Then when you require for here is add one new image, then simply go to insert button, go to file, and here is other files and select from your computer. Suppose this is my computer and this is the image. Then simply select it, double click, image will become in this section. And image also you can see the in last, this is the image and here is the, this is the EPUB file and we can create the EPUB. If you have in, uh, if you want uh, to how to make a EPUB file, then please request to CIT to arrange the workshop. Then we can uh, explain and we can uh, learn or we can uh, see the how the EPUB is created and what is the steps, step by step. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And uh, this is all about uh, today's session. And uh, uh, thank you so much for listening. Yeah, if any query, then ask me. Thank you, Devashish, sir. Yeah, thank you. Very good session. <laughs> I could observe from the distance. <laughs> Is there a table in EPUB? Can it be edited in HTML to modify? Yes, you can. A, a, a table is available. Table uh, actually simply table HTML is a table uh, tag. Simply uh, bracket of end table close table, and you need to TD DR. This is the format for column or row. So you can uh, type on Google. Then easily you can understand how to create a table. Uh, there is one request. Please post URL and URL and qr code sir i don't know what exactly you have to post in this and make qr code for a file upload in google drive yes you can create a qr code for the google drive link yes and so once so you are generated, generated set, yes sir blog copy qr, QR may convert कर सकते हैं हां ब्लॉक को भी आप क्यूआर कोड में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं आप जो मैंने आपको एक क्यूआर कोड जनरेटेड का लिंक बताया था गूगल पे सिंपली टाइप करके उससे कर सकते हैं अगर आपको अपने बुक्स के लिए चाहिए तो आपका एक वेबसाइट होना चाहिए और एक सर्वर होना चाहिए एंड उसमें कोड रहेगा क्यूआर का देन आप कर सकते हैं ड्राइव को भी क्यूआर कोड कर सकते हैं क्या हां ड्राइव को भी आप क्यूआर कोड बना सकते हैं ड्राइव का सिंपली कोई एक फोल्डर या फाइल का जो भी एक्चुअली क्यूआर कोड के आप क्यूआर कोड के बैक एंड में यूआरएल होता है यूआरएल कुछ भी हो सकता है how change if and philip book no. yeah ye thoda sa bada sawal hai how change if actually we need a more time actually this is not a one hour or two hours task so please request uh, cit to make a arrangement of workshop for this so we post url qr code formula i have already uh, pasted uh, already okay, okay i am again pasting here yes so uh, yes, uh, if you really want anything on ebooks, ebook creation and all that, you can request, your state can request to CIT for a different, maybe a two day or three day workshop for that, because it is not possible to cover it in one session, that to uh, half a session basically. So it is a technical uh, work and stepwise demonstration and stepwise practice is required for that. In our previous SRGs, we have done the EPUB, uh, gen, EPUB creation uh, also for complete one day, but that was also not enough. So we have done it with few states uh, for the two to three days completely so that you can learn the complete setup and complete process. So now I would like to thank uh, uh, Mr. Devashish Jaisawal for this uh, wonderful session. If you will request, he will uh, later on, he can take the complete workshop on this for all of you. Uh, thank you, Devashish sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, we will be moving towards uh, the next part of this session, which is 
creating state action plan yesterday i have shared one format or uh, basically indicators for creating the action plan i will just discuss them in 5 to 7 minutes and then if you request if you are uh, interested to create action plan here in this meeting only we can create the breakout rooms for you if you want to uh, go out and maybe create your own meeting link that also you can do but before uh, you have to prepare it before the next session so that uh, 345 when valedictory is there you can present the state action plan so i'll just uh, take you through the points indicator points for state action plan and then we will take it forward i'm just sharing the screen if you can just switch on a few of you you can switch on your uh, camera it will be good some kind of interaction should be visible the speaker also needs to see some faces whether somebody is listening or not it is very difficult very uh, uh, difficult to manage that i am speaking and no head nod is also not there so just sharing my screen so this is the state action plan uh, which i file which i shared with all of you yesterday now we'll just see what all is the requirement for uh, you to do here first is we can create the action plan at two levels one is individual action plan or the srg action plan uh, as a team of srg maybe 20 members or 15 members as many are participating right now and the second is the state action plan so to understand this better now we'll get into the details of the each part of the action plan first of all is the individual action plan where as a teacher or as an srg member you have learned a lot during these five days so now what you can do is at the minimum go back and train the teachers or teacher educators of your institution if you are in a school you can train to your school teachers your co teachers if you are in a diet you can uh, train the diet faculty at the first step as a first step and the in the in this plan only the next step can be the nearby schools or teachers around in your area so this can be one of the uh, aspect of action plan where one teacher one srg member is individually taking effort to train the teachers of his or her school or as a combined group of 20 members where we have all the subject teachers also like you all have and you have participated in the subject specific tool session also in that case you can also make a group of five teachers and they can uh, train teachers of each other school also for supporting in the subject uh, teaching uh, subject e content creation next is now training is happened the second aspect is as an srg or as an srg group you can uh, do you can create or develop e content individually for example now today you are going to submit three assignments to us so three e content you have created right now they might not be in a very good form but you may go back think again prepare plan and then create a e resource on your own as a individual teacher so maybe in a month you can create one two three four how many like it is up to as a, um, a member to decide that we can create maybe four uh, e contents during the month so this way you your action plan would be four uh, less four uh, e content in a month which is equals to 12 into 12 so that means 36 e content one teacher one srg member can create on his or own and if i multiply it by 20 like for from andhra pradesh we have 20 members so 36 into 20 will become a good number will go around 700 resources in one year so this way 
you can plan uh, this kind of uh, action plan that what as an SRG member, because state has deputed you here, what you can contribute to the state at your own level. Then uh, we can combine this uh, action plan, which is created as, uh, as an individual short term plan by all the SRGs. Short term means you can submit a two month plan or a three month plan initially. So that once you see that, okay, we are able to achieve this, we, we can increase it or we can decrease it for the coming months. So this way also you can plan. The next is the state action plan. Similarly, we are going to create the state action plan, which is a suggestive plan because state uh, has its own rules and regulations. So you can just suggest the state that we can, how as an SRG member, you can uh, support the state at what level and how you can support. So for example, if state is conducting uh, a workshop like SRG, maybe DRG or something, in that, how can you contribute? You can tell this to state. How can you contribute towards the development of the e-content? For example, for the state level training, one of the participants can say that I am very good in H5P, so I will contribute in the training of H5P, in taking the sessions on H5P. Or you can simply say that I will help in maybe GeoGebra Geo or uh, some other tool, maybe video editing or audio editing, whichever tool you are comfortable with. So this way, state will have a bigger team of trainers. Then uh, how can you contribute towards the development of e-content? That means you can tell them, okay, we, we can give you this much of e-content. If you give us a team, we can increase the number also. So for example, as a teacher, you have to only plan the resource. Creators are different. Then the number can definitely increase. So this also you can suggest to the state that how can you help and which how many resources maybe you can plan as a state. Then type of e-content development. May, uh, the way you are going to train on one certain topic, you can also tell which kind of e-content you can create. You can simply, if you have some resources, maybe on Diksha you find some resources in English and Hindi and you want to use them in your language, then you can simply translate and re-edit them along with the particular licensing and you can create your own resource for the state. The next level is very important, which is contribution in content review. We had a session yesterday on e-content review. So as a SRG member, you can tell to the state that for this subject, this level, maybe primary, medium, or secondary level, I can review the e-content which has been submitted by the teachers of that state. If you are comfortable in particular language, you can tell them I'm comfortable in this language. If you're comfortable at English and Hindi language, and you think you're a, you, your expertise in some subject, then you can write to CIT also that we are experts of this. So whenever we here are doing the content review, we can also invite the, you for content review for Diksha because that is also a parallel activity because no resource is being uploaded on Diksha or published on Diksha without the review process. So as a teacher, you can also contribute at that level. That is it the, uh, for the guidelines for creating action plan. You can also think uh, in... Um, for a longer this thing also that how can you further more uh, support the state or at individual level, how can you uh, do better at the training of maybe your uh, core teachers, you can simply go at diet level, district level, you can go at the national uh, different levels to train the teachers around you. So this was from my side as a guideline on creating uh, uh, e content or uh, sorry on creating a state action plan or individual action plan. Now, if you, if you want, we can uh, create uh, breakout rooms for you and you can get into those rooms to discuss the state action plan and finalize it. And uh, at one o'clock, we will close the breakout room and then you can go for the lunch break. And two, at two o'clock sharp, we will start the next session, which is also a very important session when we are talking about technology, use of technology, we should also be knowing about cyber safety and security. So the next session will be on cyber safety and security at two. Your lunch break will start at one o'clock. I will, if you want, I can create the action, uh, sorry, I can create the breakout rooms now. 
so that you can join your state room and discuss amongst yourself at 1 o'clock you can simply leave the meeting and join back at 2 o'clock please post one action plan copy of previous srg for reference then we can have clarity sir it is just you have to simply write if as a srg you can create four resources in a month then as a 20 srg you can create how many in a month that kind of a thing if you think you can give training then what will be your step for training that you will start with your state training sorry your school training and then you can go to the nearby schools in the district you can talk to the authorities in the district this way you have to plan so sharing of the action plan will uh, not help you i am creating breakout rooms for all the sessions uh, all the states whoever wants to join in those uh, uh, rooms can join whoever wants to do individual meeting can do that also but it is compulsory to present the action plan uh, during the valedictory and the time is not more than 3 minutes for each state so make it brief don't get into the too much of uh, this thing if you are simply able to create the action plan in a word file that is also okay if you are doing it through ppt that is also okay if you want to go some do some good presentation that is also perfect so there is no rule as such that you have to do a ppt it is up to you to decide but it has to be a written plan so that you can submit it to us also and submit it to state also so all and the state coordinators here the main role of state coordinators is coming up that please uh, coordinate with your state members and start working on the uh, state action plan also today since it is the last day all the state coordinators i am requesting you to please share the attendance sheet which you have created uh, as uh, suggested by my team to you please share the uh, 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 attendance sheet with them so that we can finalize the attendance on maybe on monday and then we will be able to issue you the orders of the relieving okay so now we are just getting uh, uh, mr ac breakout rooms are ready yes ma'am hello yes 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 ma'am just one second okay so we are just making the breakout rooms ready you can join as per your state and please join the meeting back at 2 o'clock and you can have your lunch from 1 to 2 depending on your state meeting whichever you are doing on your own after that please join in for the session at 2 uh breakout rooms are available in front of you just scroll down and select your room and join i hope all of you can see the breakout room window in your screen one of you might uh, just write in the chat box to confirm okay great please join it attendance sheet you can send the format in which uh, they have asked you maybe that's yeah, excel excel sheet. excel sheet they have sent in that only you can submit
we have assigned you in the rooms now you have to join i have assigned all the participants only few are left krishna murthy murli uh, sayed goya and shruti m please join yourself or you tell me your state because i am not able to identify the state rest all i have sent you to your respective rooms please join that <laughs> 